Hi, Matthew. Uh, in order to find the area between the uh, curves, I am going to have to determine which one's on top and which one's on the bottom. So because this is a quadratic face down, and it's face down because it's a negative x squared term, uh, to be bounded only by these two curves, then the line y equals 4 is going to have to fall below it. And so now I need to figure out my limits of integration, which are going to be the points of intersection here. To do that, I'm going to set the two functions equal to each other. So let's set negative x squared plus 3x plus 4 equal to 4. So subtracting 4 from both sides, it's just going to get me negative x squared plus 3x equal to 0. And if I factor an x out, I'm going to have negative x uh, plus 3 equals 0. So x is either 0 or 3. So as far as the x values go here, this intersection will be at 0, and this one will be at 3. So to find the area between the curves, I am going to integrate from 0 to 3. I'm going to take the top curve, negative x squared plus 3x. I'll rewrite that a little neater. 3x plus 4. And subtract the lower curve, which is just 4, which is going to be equal to 0 to 3. Uh, the 4s are going to cancel, leaving me just negative x squared plus 3x. And now I need the antiderivative, which is going to be negative x cubed over 3 plus 3x squared over 2, evaluated from 0 to 3. So I come up here. So if you plug in 3, you're going to get, let's see, 3 cubed is 27. 27 divided by 3 is 9. So that's going to be negative 9. Plus, if I plug in 3, 3 squared is 9 times 3 is 27. 27 over 2 minus plugging in the lower limit of 0, which is going to wash both of these terms out, so just 0 which is going to be equal to, if using a common denominator, negative 18 over 2 plus 27 over 2, which is going to be equal to 9 halves. And usually that, you just leave it as an improper fraction, or you could say 4.5, though. And that is the amount of area between the curves. Well, thank you for the question.